Rachel. So I'm at Kroger right now with my little buddy and we are going grocery shopping for our family for the week. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm sure you have, but the cost of groceries has gone up so, so much. So I've done a healthy meal plan for this week. And that's one of the things most people ask me is like, how do you afford to cook the healthy meals you do? So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm cooking for my five meals this week. And I'm going to show you what I spent on it and some of the budget saving tips I use at Kroger to get my groceries for my family of seven. So stay tuned. I'm gonna go live when I get home and while I'm unpacking these groceries, I will give you all the details. Okay, so I'm gonna post the picture of the total before and after. Um, I'll talk about this more in my live, but one of the best tips I have is for you to become a store member. It literally just takes a phone number. You have an online account and then that like rewards you for all their sale prices as well as coupons. So whatever store you go to, most grocery stores have rewards. Don't overlook that. It saves so much money. Today I saved $31 and I'll post my total. Today I went a little bit over at 114, but with the cost of groceries as high as they are, I still think I did a really good job. Okay, forgive me. I was trying to find a good angle to be able to film this, but I think this will work okay. You can't see everything, but I'll hold it up and show you. So um, I told you guys in my stories a little bit ago that I just went to the grocery store. I was doing some shopping and meal planning for our family of seven. And I wanna show you what I got because as I was saying in my stories, the price of groceries has gone up so high. Um, you guys know, sidebar, I love Octavia for my like meals throughout the day, but we still have to eat dinner as a family. So I'm gonna show you guys my meal plan that I made to, um, for this week for dinner for our family, as well as some snacks and things, because I feel like it could be really helpful for you to see like how to plan healthy meals that both you and your kids can eat and how to do it on a budget, because that's big, people's biggest question to me is like, how do you eat and feed your kids and yourself healthy meals on a budget that still have variety and that are still good. So hopefully this helps you. I did put out my menu for the week. I'm gonna switch up the order a little bit just based on some produce and some things that I got on sale that need to be eaten. But hopefully that helps. Hopefully I can give you a few tips on what to look for at the grocery store and what you need to do. So here's my grocery haul. Let me start off by saying that I shop at Kroger. I am a loyalty member, which I shared in my stories. If you're not a loyalty member of your grocery store, you should definitely become one. It just takes a phone number and that gets you store sales. Um, a lot of stores will do like the buy five, save five plus coupons. And just to show you like cost wise for all of these groceries, I paid $114.78. Um, my budget per week is around 100. I went a little over this week, but I think I still did a really good job. Um, prior though to coupons, it was 148. Um, so it is so important to use those coupons and join those loyalty, um, with those loyalty numbers to get your sales. So what I have in front of you, what I bought was meals for five days this week. We'll also have leftovers because a lot of these meals do more servings as well as snacks. Now I will preface this by saying I don't feed my whole family for hundred dollars a week. My kids generally eat breakfast and always eat lunch at school. So they are eating lunch at school and then I do keep some breakfast items on hand. But so for this week, I'm gonna show you what I got for snacks first and then actually I'll do meals first because that's probably why a lot of you are on here. So tonight we're gonna have um, turkey chili. I'm gonna use the crock pot because we have an event going on at school. Um, my kids might actually eat at that event but I'm gonna eat this chili. It's gonna make seven servings. I'm gonna do a reel on the recipe later. Um, but I went ahead and I got some ground turkey, some chili mix. I did uh, chicken broth, crushed tomatoes rotel, zucchini squash and bell pepper. I'm gonna use half my onion for this recipe and then save the other half for later in the week. And I got some jalapenos. We also got cheese, cilantro and sour cream to top that. Like I said, if you want that chili recipe, I'm gonna be putting out a reel later. Chili crock pot recipes, soup recipes are great because they can feed a lot of people um, and you can save it in the fridge for several days. I might even do chili dogs later in the week for my kids because Hot dogs and buns were on sale for 99 cents each, so I can top it with some chili, add in some extra protein and veggies that way, and it works really well. I also found another thing, actually, that I could do with the chili for my kids. The tortillas were 99 cents, and the cheese was on sale for $1.49, so I can make quesadillas to give them a little something to dip in their chili. The next meal I got was, is super simple, and okay, I have to say this, I don't think I said it. A lot of people meal plan and then grocery shop, it takes practice, but I meal plan while I grocery shop. I get to the store, I take the ad, I open the app, I see what's on sale, I see what produce is on clearance. You'll see here, I'm gonna show you in a second, I got a lot of produce on clearance. Now you have to think about when you're gonna eat it in the week, but produce on clearance is a great way to save money. I saved probably $20 on clearance produce this week. So check your store for clearance produce. Um, 
But that being said, if you don't feel comfortable meal planning while you're grocery shopping, there's always the app. You can always go and see the store ad online. And I noticed, oh, chicken breasts are on sale for 99 cents. I'm gonna make something with chicken this week. Or, oh, the ground chicken is cheaper than the ground turkey. I'm gonna use ground chicken for whatever recipe. So that's kind of how I do it as I'm trying to budget for a large family and still not just have hot dogs every day of the week. Um, this was the inspiration. This coleslaw mix is awesome for egg roll in a bowl. As you can see, I got that on clearance for 75 cents. We're going to eat it tomorrow night. Um, the ground chicken was actually cheaper by like $1.50 than the turkey. So I got some ground chicken to use in that. And I got some green onions. And that right there is a complete lean and green. Love um, egg roll in a bowl. Sometimes my kids won't eat that. But like I said, I can serve leftover chili on hot dogs or with quesadillas for them. The next meal that is a family favorite and probably the cheapest meal we do is spaghetti with meat sauce. I don't use ground beef for that, it's too expensive. The breakfast sausage is always about $2.50. That's what I use in my spaghetti. And you know that the carbs always matter in different sauces. Rayo's is my favorite, but it's $8 a jar and who can afford that? This Hunt's pasta sauce used to be 99 cents. Today I got it for $1.39. This has the same number of carbs, seven per serving that Rayo's does. This is always what we use for sauce. Um, I had the sausage in the freezer, so I didn't worry about that. I bought my kids spaghetti. Um, they love it with theirs. And then this is what I did. This broccoli slaw, I love to boil, and it's got the texture of noodles. So that's how I always eat my spaghetti. I found this uh, Caesar salad thing on sale for $1.50. I just won't eat the croutons. My kids love Caesar salad. And then also this giant thing of mushrooms was only $1.08, and it was on clearance. So I might actually put some of these mushrooms in my egg roll in a bowl as well. This is what I mean by shopping the clearance. These two things together probably would have been 10 bucks if they weren't on clearance. And this was, I don't know, 258. So don't overlook those clearance items. This next thing I'm really excited about, I don't normally cook with bone in chicken because I just find it like harder to deal with. But when it's on sale for 99 cents a pound and you're on a budget, you can't pass that up. So I got this entire thing of chicken for $5.36 bone in skin on. Obviously, I'm not gonna eat the skin, but I'm gonna roast this in the oven, peel the skin off, debone it, and this will be enough chicken for probably two meals for our family. So this was a great find at $5.36. I'm gonna roast cauliflower for me. This was also on sale. My kids don't always eat cauliflower, so I got them for 99 cents each. Some of the broccoli, cheese, uh, I don't know, rice packet, and then frozen corn. Canned vegetables lately have been a lot more expensive than the frozen if they've been on sale. So check the frozen aisle, don't overlook that. Plus, I, I like frozen vegetables better. I think they taste fresher than canned. The last meal that we're gonna do for this week is on Friday night, we do pizza night in our house. And I will say, I did forget to buy pizza dough. To buy pizza dough for the kids' pizzas. So I'm gonna either have to use bread that we got or I'll go back to the store. Probably I'll just use bread though. It's a good use of some leftover bread. I do chicken crust. These were on sale for 99 cents each, which is a great deal on canned chicken. That is what inspired this recipe for this week. But Brent and I will do chicken crust pizza. It's Parmesan cheese, egg, and chicken. You can top it with some leftover spaghetti sauce, which I'll save that for it. I also got tur turkey pepperoni. And guys, if you look by Kroger, the cheese is on sale for $1.49 this week with the coupon. I think today might be the last day of it. So run to the store and get all their shredded cheese. That is what I do for my meals. So that is like the five meals that we do. And then I'm gonna show you just like what I keep on hand for snacks, um, just so you can see. I always go by the sales. So if it's not on sale, we generally don't buy it. But this week I got mandarins and apples. I like to keep fruit for my kids for when they get home. Bananas. Um, I personally love the berries. They're lower in glycemic and carbs and other fruits. So I eat these a lot. This yogurt was on sale. Um, the brands that I like are the Chiobani Zero Sugar, some of the light and fit, you have to check the carbs, or also the Too Good Yogurt. So those are the ones I got this week. Um, I got a thing of eggs. I love doing boiled eggs or in an emergency, if you're hungry and you need a lean and green, scrambled eggs with some veggies on the side is a great thing to have. So I always try to keep that on hand. Um, I found some of these little crisp bread toasts. These are sourdough and they're low in carbs and calories. So I can do those with cheese for a snack. I'm gonna show y'all a funny snack that I found on TikTok. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but cucumbers were on sale. And everyone says if you slice cucumbers and you top them with sugar-free Jello, it tastes like candy. I don't know, comment if you've tried it. I'm gonna try it because I'm doing Octavia, so we're going all for the greens with our cucumbers. Um, and then I'm gonna do another special recipe this week because 
I have been craving pumpkin muffins so bad. And obviously I'm not gonna go eat like an actual, I mean, I could, but I'm trying to keep it healthy. I'm not saying it. if you're eating pumpkin muffins, good for you. But I had a friend that taught me this recipe years ago and I actually texted her to confirm today what the recipe is, but it's eggs, almond butter, pumpkin, and then she used to put like three dark chocolate chips on the top. And so it's grain free pumpkin muffins. So stay tuned for that recipe, probably tomorrow or Wednesday. But um, that was kind of a little splurge because almond butter is super expensive now. But um, that's what we do for our family for groceries. Hopefully this gave you some healthy inspiration and ideas on little tweaks you can make for your kids, um, but get, still get some healthy food based on kind of the sales cycles and what's around. So I hope that was helpful to you. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing that chili crock pot recipe and reels later this afternoon, so stay tuned. I think I hear the baby, so I'm gonna go.